Hello all, welcome to Tech Tech Care. So in this video, we are going to see about a big table in Google Cloud. So we already seen about a relational database that is a Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner. Now we are moving ahead with a NoSQL database in Google Cloud. So big table is one of the NoSQL database service in a Google Cloud. So first I will see uh, what is a NoSQL databases. So where data is not structured. So here you can see the example. If we are using the relational database service, then we have a table and it will have the defined column set. But if you are talking about a non-structured data, so just take an example. The first record contains the value for country and capital, but now second record will contains the value of country and currency. So there is no value or no column for a capital in a second record so it is unstructured data or data can be in your uh, key value pair it can be as a column family it can be your graph data or it can be your document data so no sql data it's uh, unstructured or semi substructured data you can say now what about a cloud big table so cloud big table is a no sql database in google cloud so what i will do i'll first uh, try to cover some theory about a cloud big table because that is important for a certification it might be your associate cloud engineer certification or a data engineer or a cloud architect so as the video should help while doing certification as well as doing hands-on so i just want to cover quickly uh, some theoretical part and few concept which will be asked in you know, a exam so first thing is cloud big table is a no sql database in a google cloud so cloud big table is fully managed and it is google's in-house product so it is fully managed no sql big data database service in a google cloud so mostly it is designed to handle a huge data set so it's the same database that powers many of the core google services including google search so google itself using this cloud big table for their services like a google search a google map or a gmail so you can assume it is a very powerful database or no sql database in google cloud now how we can use the big table or what are the use cases of uh, using a big table so for what purpose we should use a big table so there will be mostly questions on the use cases in exam and scenario where we should use a cloud big table so mostly cloud big table is used for a time series data such as memory usage over a time or you can see the sensor data where in it is generating the record uh, like multiple or thousands or millions of record within a second and then that type of data we can use a uh, cloud big table or a marketing data you can see the share market price for particular stocks is changing within a sub seconds or millisecond and for particular second the value is different it is constantly changing so such time of data or such type of record uh, this is a uh, best use case to use a cloud a big table or a financial data that i already talked about uh, stock prices or currency exchange rates then iot data where a lot of iot devices will send data continuously in a particular second and short amount of span time span then we can use uh, this big table and then a graph data so these are the use cases you have to remember if you are preparing for the exam like time series data, marketing data, financial data, IoT data or a graph data or any use case where the data will be in the form of a time data. So data is changing in a particular time. So even like single milliseconds of the record are distributed in time. So the type we can use a time series data in a cloud, a big table. So here in cloud big table, we use a CBT command line utility. Now this is something we'll see in console, but I just uh, want to show an example where while dealing with a cloud storage bucket, we use a GSUT. Similarly, while dealing with a cloud big table, we use one CBT command line utility. So here also you will get questions on your exam. That CPT tool is a command line interface for performing several different operations on a cloud big table. So it might be you are creating table, creating a column family, creating column or inserting data into a table. You have to use this CBT command line utility. So when you started working on a big table, you will get good understanding of this CBT utility. We'll see in console how we can use this CBT command line utility. So by default, it should be installed. If it is not installed, you have to install the CBT command line utility using either gcloud components update or using a gcloud component install cbt 
and once it is installed to use you along with your big table instance you have to create one dot cbtrc file that is hidden file which will be placed inside your cloud shell i'll show you that and how we can update that and use for our cloud big table instance so now uh, i will go to my cloud console i'll try to create one big table instance i'll try to create one a table i will try to create column families and column and i will try to insert some data into that okay so we'll see how we can do that so i'll go to cloud console now so i am in my project now so i'll go to a big table so from here i'll type a big table and i just want to show you the description when we go on a big table home page so here you could see the big table is fully managed white column no sql database that offer low latency and a replication for high availability to use big table create instance and set up your development environment to access big table okay so what i will do first i'll create a instance so i'll try to create a smaller instance to avoid unnecessary costing so instance name i'll just give as a bt demo which will be my big table demo I'll click continue the storage here we have option ssd and hd definitely ssd will provide a better uh, performance but for this demo i'll choose hdd because i'm not dealing with a very huge amount of data i'll just create few sample tables and couple of records so i'll use hdd if i go for ssd and i'll show you the size or storage cost so currently it is not showing or uh, for the data so suppose i choose ssd or first i choose hdd and i will show you if i am storing 100 gb of data my cost will be 2.60 dollar okay so this is a, a monthly cost but now if i am choosing ssd my cost will be 17 dollars so you could see the huge increase in the cost if you are using the ssd so that's why i'll go with the hdd which is lower in cost and i'll continue now and here we have to create first cluster so i'll just keep the name cluster id default and region i will choose us central one and i don't want to put auto scaling i'll just put a one node only we don't require much node here and i'll simply create my instance now and i'll click on create so it will create instance very quickly it won't take much time for big table to create instance and you can see the instance is created immediately now i'll go inside my instance and i'll try to create one table okay so here i have this cluster id i'll go to table here i'll create a one table so I'll just create the table called EMP that is employee table and here I have to add a column family so I will add a two fa column family one for a personal data of employee I will just add a column family personal data so one column family will have multiple columns I will click on done and then I will add one more column family which will contain a department data so I will just add dpt dept data okay so i have added a two column family and the table id I have given emp and let me create the table now okay let me refresh and you could see the emp table is created and if i go inside emp table it should show a two column families Yeah, so if I click on edit table, it is showing the two column families are already there. Now uh, that is 
what we can do from the console now what i will do i will go to command line tool or cloud shell and i'll try to show you this about a cbt utility that we use for interacting with a cloud big table as i said for using a cloud storage we use a gs util similarly for using a cloud big table you we use a cbt command line utility so i'll open my cloud shell and i'll try to show you how we can use a cbt command line utility okay so here first i will check if cbt is installed so i simply need to type cbt and i'll just enter okay so it is giving all the details it means cbt is installed so you can see available commands here so i'll just copy these commands in my notepad so these are the available command just copy this to my notepad okay and now i will try to check the cb rtc file okay cbt rc file sorry so i will just read the content so here you can see the two entries here one is project and one is instance so the instance name is correct i need to update my project name so if there is no file present for you you have to create that file using nano so i will just do nano.cbtrc and i will update my project name so it is not a poc it is a demo and instance name bt demo is correct okay now what i will do i will try to do cbt now i will just go here and we will see what are the available command so just check here cbt ls list tables and column families so just as i'm completely new to this cbt and how we can use this so what i will do i'll just write cbt ls so it will we have to authorize this call it will just show us available tables in this instance okay so it is showing one table now i want to check the available column families from this table Okay, let me increase the size here you just use increase yeah so now i want to check the column family so i will do cbt ls and table name emp so it will show me the column families which we created okay so we have two column families here dpt data that is department data and personal data now I want to read the data from the table. So if I do CPT read EMP, it should show empty data or it should not give any output. Okay, so we'll try to insert some data into our column families or our table. So we'll see how we can insert the data. So I will see here the CBT set. Okay. So this is the command we have to use. So I'll just cbt set table name emp and suppose i want to enter data for first employee so we'll just use employee one or employee id i will give one and then i will enter uh, or i will set the value so how i have to give i have to give the first a column name so i have column family the personal underscore data and column name so personal data i just want to add a name is equal to i'll write my name vishal okay so we'll see if it is fine or it will give an error for syntax okay it inserted one record now i want to add one more value in a uh, department data now so I'll just type set EMP the same employee I want to insert data but now I want to insert a department data so department name for me or I will just give DPT name and I will write a cloud okay so I inserted okay something is missing so I missed a DEPT so what is that uh, error while mutating row one project requested column family not found so let me check what is the column family dept underscore 
date okay i have made a spelling mistake here so let me correct it it would be data and not a date okay. and now let me insert it okay now let me read the data so earlier we executed the read command it returned uh, no data so now i will read cbt read employee so here you could see it has not given any output now i will execute the same command and it returned me the data with a unique timestamp so each record will have a unique timestamp so big table will record the timestamp at which the data is being inserted so that's why it is best suited for time series data okay now we able to insert the data using our cbt utility so now i think we are a bit familiar with cbt utility now i'll just try to explore other options in a big table so what i will do i'll show you okay this backup option so we can take a backup of our table in a big table so what i will do i'll take a backup here and i will delete my original table and then i'll try to restore the backup from the uh, backup we created so currently no backup cluster id i will choose the same one backup id i will give emp bkp okay so expiry so expiry i just keep one day i just creating the backup for demo and i will create backup of my emp table which contains one record with two value okay so this backup is created now now i will go into the table and i will delete this table okay now i'll try to read the data again we'll see okay so not found so table not found because table we deleted now i'll just try to restore that table from the backup we created and we'll try to see if it contains all our data so i'll click on this restore option and table id now will give the same table name emp i will restore okay and you could see immediately it's ready so you can see it is a very much easier and faster while doing this backup and restore operation and now again i will try to execute this cbt read emp and we'll see if we have the same data once we restore the table yeah now you could see the data which is exactly a same data along with your timestamp as well because we restored it from the backup so this way we can take a backup of our data as well as we can restore it from the backup so that's all about cloud big table or google cloud a big table so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in our next video